Welcome to the program Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Today we will see if someone can win lots of money. So let's start. And our guest is Anne. Oh, it's easy. B, final. Are you sure? Yes. You're right. By the way, you may find this moment in a very famous film, Titanic, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, who give a magnificent performance as Jack and Rose, is an immortal piece of filmmaking from director, screenwriter James Cameron. It presents a breathtaking love story on the historical setting of the Titanic. Cameron brilliantly uses special effects as a storytelling tool, and as a result, several times the camera pans along the real ship and beautifully transforms from wreckage to a brand new ocean liner and back again. Mesmerizing score by James Horner helps the director to embody the tragic voyage on the screen. The movie is so famous that I won't go into details. I am just eager to remark that when James Cameron shows the sinking of the Titanic, it's technically magnificent. You definitely will be speechless after watching such a gripping and at the same time harrowing story. On the whole, winner of 11 Academy Awards James Cameron's Titanic is an epic where you don't just watch the film, you experience it. And now, the second question. A final. Um, you got it! Mulan is an animated cartoon which came out in 1998. What makes this movie great is that it has a truly endearing Mulan who learns that her lame father is to be called up into the army in order to fight the invading Huns. Knowing that he would never survive, she decides to disguise herself and join in his place. Mulan appeals so much to the audience that it won't leave you cold. And now, a difficult question. It's definitely C. <clears throat> what? It's also very difficult. Okay. Congratulations, you're right. And the Oscar goes to... Life is Beautiful is a 1997 Italian tragic comedy film directed by and starring Roberto Benigni. This triumphant and sublime picture is a combination of war drama and boundless love of parents for their child. Benigni tries to convey a certain impression by mesmerizing music and a delightful plot. Benigni's picture is vividly dramatic and leaves a deep and lasting impression on its audience. Set against the stark reality of the Second World War, Benigni's sentimental fable is not a film about the Holocaust. It's a film about life and hope merely against the backdrop of the Holocaust. It delivers a powerful message that despite everything, life is truly beautiful. And now the fourth question. I suppose it's D. Yes. Exactly. The Sixth Sense is Night Shyamalan's first big budget and best film. It is unique as it relies on imagination and psychology to scare you and make you think twice about the world around you. That's why it is not an easy film to watch. There are several things which may attract your attention in the film. For example, the excellent use of mirrors and shadows, the lightning and eccentric camera view points. Besides, the sixth sense has a remarkable ending, which won't leave you cold. Of course, it's not all about the ending. The story itself is very absorbing, but the point is that the ending is the cherry on the pie. 
I aware that nobody will have the heart to say that it is a run of the mill film. The next question. Actually, you need to watch this picture. It is a 1965 Soviet comedy film directed by Leonid Gaidai. When the film came out, it made a hit with the public at once. Gaidai's movie is so thrilling that it became a fount of quotes. The plot follows the adventures of Shuri, a naive student who often gets into ludicrous situations. In the film you will also see a criminal trio, full of coward and experienced, portrayed by Nikulin, Vitsin and Morgunov. As they make the best of their roles, you realize you are under their spell. Let's continue. The answer is A. Brilliant! Christopher Nolan has created the film, which is actually not to everyone's taste, as you have to see it at least twice to understand it. Leonardo DiCaprio gives a captivating portrayal of Dom Cobb, a world-class criminal who, with the help of a team of sleep experts, steals what people value most, ideas directly from their minds. The cast wasn't ill-chosen, as all the actors and actresses managed to create a true-to-life images. While it may seem simple at its outset, Inception is an extremely complex film delving deep into the subconscious of the human mind. Technical brilliance and visual splendor have really blended together as beautifully. The emotional depth and exclusive action complement each other perfectly. That's why it's the film that manages to engross you with its complexities and will have you at the edge of your seat quite literally from start to finish. <laughs> and now a very interesting question. It's unfair, it isn't named the tune. Who cares? See. Taxi is a hilarious comedy which was released in France in 1998. I must admit that it is empty of serious content, but still I needed to praise it unreservedly. The outrageous characters, witty dialogues and the excellent production provide great entertainment. Taxi is a movie which needs no intricate studies or analysis. Leading actors make the best of their roles. Sammy Nasri stars in a role of Daniel, a pizza delivery guy who is just planning to cross over into the world of taxi driving. Frédéric Defendal gives a magnificent performance as Emilian, a loser cop. There are of course weaknesses. Luc Besson shows police as complete idiots. And in a way, it makes the film dull in sports. B. Finally. You're right. You will learn more about the royal family if you watch the king's speech. It is inspirational, life-affirming and old-fashioned in the very good sense of the word. The film is based on the true story of the Duke of York, later King George VI, who suffered from the terrible case of stutter when he had to give public speeches, and his meeting with an orthodox eccentric speech therapist, failed Australian actor Leonel Logg. The picture leaves a deep and lasting impression as the chemistry between key actors Colin Firth and Jeffrey Rush is masterful. Both actors make the development of the unlikely friendship believable and totally gripping. The film appeals so much to the audience and as a result it is enjoyable for many viewers of different tastes, ages and preferences. This worth seeing movie is a delightful combination of historical realism, emotional drama and the elements of the best English comedy. The next question. 
D. And again, congratulations! Oh, I was inspired to learn more about the Liberty Bell thanks to National Treasure. It is an American adventure heist film produced and released by Walt Disney Pictures. It touches upon a very gripping theme, American history. Ben Gates has been handed a clue that has been passed down through generations of his family and is said to lead to treasure of untold value. He follows various clues and is forced to steal the Declaration of Independence to see a clue on the back, protect it from his former friend, run from the FBI and finally find the treasure or everyone he knows and loves will be in extreme peril. Nicholas Cage is in top form and he outshines everybody else. The actor plays in his usual of the wall manner and imbues the character with such earnestness that it is impossible not to root for him. The tenth question. It's easy, of course it's A. Clever of you. It is my favorite film. since I was nine years old, that's about half of my life, and for all that time there has always been something to look forward to in the world of Potter. Every time I read the book or watch the movie, I feel overwhelmed with emotions, and I know I'm not alone. We are the Harry Potter generation, and it is a part of our adolescence and adulthood. These books and movies were our constant through the most formative years of our lives. I don't want to mark out any picture from the film series, as all of them are a part of one storyline for me. I am just eager to praise and reservedly the cast of the film, especially the Golden Trio, Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint and Emma Watson. They give a magnificent performance as Harry, Ron and Hermione. Frankly speaking, it is often mentioned that the cast is filled with abundance of accomplished British actors that help significantly to lift the status of the films. I must admit that it's true, as the seasoned actors and actresses who play supporting roles create true-to-life images. On the whole, the films are well produced and technically brilliant. Music, lightning, script, everything is flawless. I am proud of the fact that Harry Potter is a part of my childhood. Exactly! Exactly.